Pat Bonner off his line. But Celtic, naturally enough, had the upper hand, and from Tom Boyd's cross, Irish international Tommy Coyne was unlucky not to score with a header. Next to be foiled by the impressive Howie was Andy Payton, who gave ample demonstration of Celtic's lack of confidence in front of goal. Six minutes from half-time, cheers as much of relief as of rejoicing, Tommy Coyne punishing some slack defending, his first top-team start of the season and his team's first goal in 434 minutes. Into the second half, and Clyde's fitness belying their second division status as they pressed for an equaliser. Jamie McCarron might have done better with a good penalty box opportunity. Through a difficult season, Celtic manager Liam Brady has stuck to his belief in the slick passing game. Some of their lead-up work was top class. But when your luck's out, you come up against saves like that from John Collins. The fans' frustration at only a one-goal lead was transmitting itself to the Celtic players, and they drove forward almost incessantly. Spirited defending kept them back, and they struggled for new ways to try to carve out chances. Coming up, a stunning save from a deflected shot by Stuart Slater. Celtic must have guessed by now there was no way past Howie to stretch the winning margin. Payton's effort stopped this time. 1-0 Celtic go through to the fourth round, but most of the credit goes to Brave Clyde, a night to remember for their support. Straight through in the cup against Clyde.